When I'm walking, I strap my stuff, and I'm so strung out. I'm high as a kite, I just might stop to check you out. Let me go wow, like a blister in the sun. Let me go wow. Fans, I know you're the one. Welcome to Respectfully Podcast. I'm Andrea Allen. I'm Lizzie Cassidy, and joining us today, comedian, friend in real life, and host of the Billionaires Are Good Podcast, it's Dave Ross, everybody. Hello. Hello, Dave. Dave. Thank you um, for singing that song. I like that song. You're welcome. (laughs) I really appreciate it. (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) And thank you for thanking us for singing that song. You're welcome. Big hands. I know you're the one. (laughs) Nobody ever thanks us for singing. Yeah, right? (laughs) Yeah. Nobody really likes it. Not even me. And I'm always doing it. Yeah. When I edit the pot, I go, yeah. (laughs) We are really... We're really bad at singing. Male audience members. If you could sing, would you do stand up? No. No. Same. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I would. I wouldn't. No. I would I'd not. Sing. <laughs> Being up there singing sounds horrible, man. Really? I think it sounds so much And then everyone better. just stares at you. But you and then afterward, they clap. But what a nightmare. And then you can cry. sing someone else's song. <laughs> you could. You don't have to think. You don't have to think anything for yourself. Yeah, and you're shielded by your instrument if you play an instrument at the same time. Yeah, but you, nobody has to know that they don't agree with you because you can just sing an Adele song. But you also don't know if they like you for that exact reason. Oh, but, you have to know that if, everyone likes you, Dave. If you, you don't Dave, know that you they always like you, you can no. please everybody. If you don't know that they Honestly, like you, you can assume the exact they like opposite. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, you are kind of a shitty bitch, which I've always loved about you. <laughs> <laughs> we love a shitty yeah. bitch. We love a messy bitch who lives for Drama. The Roger Stone of comedy. They've always <laughs> said that. Everybody fucking hates me, and I love it, dude. And I dress like a fucking moron. <laughs> this is not for the. Bo- I gotta change into the stuff. This is just what I wear. Right, right, right. Yeah, we'll give you. I a wear this to- stupid fucking hat. No, this great hat that I like. It's okay. It I like good. it. Thank you. You do. You do. N- not shy from getting into a little beef or sharing your the way you feel with people, which, which I've I always love. loved true? about you. Yes, I don't for think sure. You, yeah, that yeah. is actually a really nice compliment because I don't see myself that way. To oh. me, I'm like I'm afraid of confrontation. You but. and I have talked about this before because you've told me like oh, I, I don't like telling people how I feel, and I've been like this, and you do it all the time. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I definitely do it. When if I don't do it, then I will not be able to sleep at night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, sure. It's a, yeah, good, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah, all right. It's a good thing. I actually think one of my fa- all-time fave riffing sessions uh, in all of stand-up <laughs> comedy was maybe a few weeks after my dad died. Oh, we were yeah. all sitting in at the gutter oh my God, in I Williamsburg. This. I was off my fucking <laughs> yeah. rocker. I was like, Why? I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that was the first time Maddie Wiener met me. And I was like, what a showing yeah, yeah, of yeah. my whole energy. And we were doing Andrew Dice Clay <laughs> talking about how my dad got a pussy. Like my dad oh, got right. a pussy transplant. That's uh, right. Yeah. And the, and, the, right. and the mortician had to like tell had me. Had to break it to the family. <laughs> yeah. the, the coroner had to be like, um... <laughs> So we finished the makeup or whatever, but there is something that I, uh, I don't really know how to say this. This has never happened before, but, um, your dad does have a pussy. <laughs> it's, the most be- it's the most beautiful pussy I've ever oh, seen yeah, in my life. Oh, that's right. He's the right. most beautiful pussy, pussy yeah. you've ever What is it about the gutter? There's something about the gutter where when you're hanging out there for more than an hour, yeah. just the, the things that come out of your mouth are... You go are, crazy. Yeah. There's Molly in the water. There's yeah. Molly in the water. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Everyone's just... Yeah. Whoever there goes there... There is like there, a weird frenetic energy yes. in there. Yeah. Well, we the comics who go it. there are all funny. I think it's just as simple it as that. It might just be that, yeah. We were yelling... Hickory dickory dock, your dad's pussy used to be a cock. <laughs> like, I fully was on another planet. Damn, that's so we funny. We were screaming <laughs> it's it. It's so funny that and Dave and I doing... obviously didn't remember that. And if that happened in anyone else's life, they would remember it forever for and talk about it all the time. Their lives. Like, yeah, the craziest thing you've ever said. Yeah. Yeah. But for us, it was for sure just a Wednesday. Yeah. It was yeah. healing me. I, need, yeah. I needed to be crazy. Your dad's beautiful pussy My dad's Beautiful uh, pussy. Uh, little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet <laughs> eating her curds and ray. A spider came up and said, your dad has a fucking pussy now. And it's beautiful. <laughs> and it's beautiful. <laughs> Who's the surgeon on this pussy? Yeah. Aren't wow. you embarrassed you didn't know about your dad's pussy? Were you even close? Is that Matt Escalco now? <laughs> oh, yeah, because we started talking about, like, you were obviously grieving, but grieving 
a person that I had a bad relationship that you had with. a bad relationship yeah. with. Is, it's always like such a complicated grieving yeah. process. Yeah. It's and uh, so we were talking about like, I think, yeah, it just came to like, would it be easier if, yes. if you found pussy. out he had a beautiful <laughs> pussy? <laughs> It would add a texture Dude, to it. Dude, because I was thinking, like, yeah, one day... It would be day, distracting in a nice way. Yeah. It's obviously, it's weird with my parents. And I think, like, <laughs> it, when they die, if I find out that actually my mom had a cock and my dad had a pussy, <laughs> I mean, that it would paint them in a completely yeah, different I think light. Yeah, you would like them more. Yeah. 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 I mean, I find it would explain you, so many things. I don't know if things. you would love them more, but you would like them more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you love your parents, but how much do you really like them? I do wonder too. Like really for all like are the boomers and Gen X, like how frustrated they are in general. Like yeah. how yeah. many of them are just trans and yeah. they're like, oh, right. why'd you move the yogurt? <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> and it's like you're trans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think half of them are trans and the other half have lead poisoning. <laughs> and they're all Maybe a little above. And they're all yeah. just fucking like yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, my dad was trans and not an mm. asshole. What a cooler what a cool, character. What a, a more cool tragic character. Yeah, right? My mom You know what I, you know what I think is so chic? Mm. When a dad transitions into a woman and is like, I'm still dad. Yeah. I think that's so cool and chic. Yeah. The Will Ferrell did a doc recently where yeah. his the head writer of SNL uh transitioned and he like went around the country with him as his friend to like reintroduce him and have him go to like dive bars and stuff like that and they had an interview with his kids and the one of them was her like kids? you're still my uh the sorry her kids yes um then they're like you're still my dad nice here over the pond over there um they're like you're still my dad and i just like, want I'm us still to not dad. get in trouble with yeah. the head writer of snl who's trans <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I don't want to make it. I don't want to make an enemy of. I a want to be in trouble with her woman. for the record. <laughs> yeah, but I would not, like her to know that I do understand her gender, but also that's what I was fuck say. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not for not for the transphobic reasons, for my personality, <laughs> <laughs> for yeah. my job. Yeah. But yeah, Dave, you really that was the beginning of our. I was early on in our friendship, and I was like, oh, this guy, yeah, fucking totally. Rips. Yeah, it was great. So you want friends who will say that your dead dad had a pussy? Yeah. <laughs> You need, that. you need that. Honestly, not not to get too down, but there hasn't been enough of that lately. Yeah. You know, <laughs> some about the past year, I haven't been talking about my dad's pussy that much. Yeah, and I honestly mean that. I feel like I moved to New York, and for a solid year, it was my dad's pussy this my and my dad's, dad's pussy, pussy that. Uh, and now all of a sudden, it's just my mom's pussy. Uh, you yeah. know, and my dad's cock. My dad's yeah, stupid totally. Cock. Both of which I suck. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, and uh, well, and I do son. mean that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and they're yeah. both alive. Bring us to our first segment. If you had to fuck one of your parents, which would it be? Dad. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you really are a gig ba a big gay woman, a gig bay woman. Huh? I'm a gig, gig bay, bay woman. It's uh -huh. true. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't personally have an opinion on whether or not I would fuck my mom or dad, but I have had a dream about fucking my dad, so I it have would to. be nice. Have you? May you rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like anyone you have like turmoil with, you're gonna fuck him in your dreams at yes, some point. Yes, for yeah, sure. Yeah, like something <laughs> weird is gonna happen. Yeah, totally. You know? Yeah, turmoil is a big was a big part of that time period. Uh, that's why I keep fucking Big Bird. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys, a lot yeah. of turmoil. Yeah, yeah. turmoil. <laughs> you Everybody, can, you can just be a furry, Dave. We'll accept you. Yeah. What if you were yeah. a big furry? Yeah. I'm not a furry if it's actually a bird. Right. Then right, I'm, right. you know, just gross. <laughs> you think, you <laughs> then think, I just break the law and I'm a horrible bird is person. A bird. Yeah. Haven't you seen that show? <laughs> <laughs> show me. <laughs> I mean, you do think. <laughs> <laughs> There's you not a single person who lives on Sesame Street. I've seen the show. That's a fair point. You're making <laughs> cogent fair points. <laughs> it's like vampires so and, yeah. you know, eagles and shit. You idiot. <laughs> Whatever Elmo is. Yeah, yeah, what is Elmo? Monster. It's a little guy. Monster. Little guy. Yeah. Little, mo little monster. Monster nice boy. Monster. Yeah. 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 I like him. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Yeah, I want to tickle him for some reason. We're a bunch of little monster boys, I, I would right. say. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Little monster boy weirdos. I like when Elmo gets a little shitty. Have you ever seen that? Oh, no. yeah. When he gets a little shitty attitude, I love that. Oh, he's really? He's like, he, he's got this like character in his life who's a rock. And everyone around him treats the rock like it's a person. <laughs> and Elmo's running around going, it's a fucking rock! <laughs> and I really like that. Yeah, I like that too. Me, me, me voice? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fucking rock. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, Rocco's a rock! <laughs> Elmo's a boy! <laughs> Big Bird's a bird and I fuck him! 
consensually. Hey, almost three. Oh, oh yeah. Lee. Let's not hey. make Elmo fuck things. No, we've already done a lot of inappropriate yeah. fuck <laughs> stuff right That's off the right. top. Well, us adults, we can talk about fucking yes. our yes. family. Yes. yes. That's not <laughs> weird. Elmo's a boy. He's a boy. Boys he's, don't he's fuck ju- rocks. He's just a boy. Adults fuck their parents. <laughs> Hello. In their grave yeah. with their beautiful pussy. These are traditional conservative <laughs> values. <laughs> My dad would be able to get a really snatched pussy with the amount he yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, would have been a nicer yeah. pussy oh, than yeah. me, and then I'd have to unravel that whole fucking thing. Well, yeah, it feels like what you're telling too. us right now is that you have a good pussy guy. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I got. Yeah. I have fake tits, and I got a great pussy guy. You need yeah. a pussy guy? Yeah. I don't, I actually. Pussy guy. But if I, need a, if I ever meet somebody who needs a nice pussy, you I'll ever let meet you a know. guy who's like a pussy guy? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. you know, guys, oh. guys who like. Who are like, let me sh- let me see your pussy. <laughs> I, I love pussy. <laughs> As opposed to like ass and tits. That's what you're saying. Guys who are like, mm-hmm. all I want to do is eat fucking pussy. Yeah. And it's oh. like, well, you don't have to say that to people you're not having sex with. Yeah. I feel like that's um, a pick me. Just kind of like mining my brain for this. So obviously, the, there's any type of person out there, but that seems like the type of thing you do. When you're very insecure, yeah, yes, yeah, right, and, yeah. A, and a way I to think be some like, some of them probably mean it. They must, yeah. But there must be people that are just into it. It's weird to say it. I don't like it when it comes from an ugly person. Bingo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am like, I don't. You with sexual things, I don't enjoy. Cause yeah, it's yuck. It is disgusting. This might be problematic. But isn't that the case for literally everything kinky? Yes. Well, if you're not attracted say, to them, you're like gross. Because, yeah. I think respectfully, because, don't talk about kinky things if you're a whore. Yeah. You're also, making me feel sick. I think because we do stand up, a lot of our friends are like very open about their sexuality. Yeah. So then sometimes someone who's like fucking really ugly is like telling you about sex they had, and you have to be like, "That's awesome." <laughs> 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 you know what's funny that happens amongst dudes in stand up and I maybe you've seen this maybe not but I I have like stand up is on the one hand like when guys hang out at least the guys I hang out with t- people tend to be like softies and honestly the male stand ups I hang out with are less likely than the feel st- female stand ups I hang out with to talk about oh, sex yeah, yeah for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. uh cuz yeah female they're all softy cucks yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. female but, comedians are dogs but then as a result, like, the ones that talk about sex, it's really awkward, and they were, became masculine recently. Yeah. And so yeah. you'll just be, like, five dudes standing around, and just a guy that you just know lives in fear uh, <laughs> is just like, yeah, I went up with this girl last night, then I fucked her. And you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> totally, dude. Oh, <There's- laughs> totally, for sure, dude. That's awesome. The word fucked. Yeah. It's just something about just saying I fucked her over and over. Yeah. Uh, I also think that, like, in our f- sort of friend group, all of the women are, like, borderline queer. Sure. If not fully. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when women talk about having sex, everybody's, like, a little into it. For sure, sure. Like, yeah. Like, everybody's like, I don't hate picturing you getting fucked. Yeah. Right. But then when, like, a guy we're friends with is like, and then I fucked her, we're like, <laughs> ew, <laughs> with your pig dick. <laughs> yeah. I hate totally. your pig dick. I thought you had yeah. a nice, nice <laughs> pussy <laughs> up until yeah, now. Yeah. I thought you had a beautiful I pussy. I thought you had yeah. my dad's pussy, and now you're telling me about your dick? <laughs> there, there's also this oh my god the perfect example of this there's a video I, I can't remember what it is not the cut but like one of these where uh, they put two people together and like one of them has a crush on the other one or there's oh some god. sort of like revealing thing that they do facing each other and one of them was a guy who clearly had a crush on his like best female friend mm-hmm. and he was like I feel this way about you and she was all like eh. and like he was <laughs> just such a pig and um <laughs> At th- when she was like, thank you, no, thank you. At the very end, he was like, I love to eat pussy. And it was just like, oh. oh. You think you're selling it? Yeah, I don't think these guys understand that um, you don't want a guy you don't find attractive to eat your pussy. Right, right. Like, I, I'm sure there's some men out there who would let, like, a busted dog pig lady suck their cock. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy moly, Yeah, welcome dude. to the bod. What a fucking... <laughs> I'd no longer want to be here. 
Some JK. collections of words are just too much for me, I guess. I, I'm 42 years old. I really thought I'd heard it all. I speak English. It's my remember, first language. Remember how you were just <laughs> talking about how the women you're friends with are more crass than the men you're Yeah. Friends? No, you're what, you don't busted know dog busted pig lady. Is that what you said? A busted Damn, dog pig lady. Really, that is really funny. Anyway, my point is, do you remember that there was a guy that you were friends with that I met who kept offering me my pussy while I did his podcast? Yes. What? I'm no longer friends anyway, with this person. But he was oh my god, I want to know who the upsetting. fuck that was. I'll tell you yeah. later. I do too. I yeah. Don't yeah, dude. Well, I'll give you one fucking guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is there is also like the bar okay, is so it. low for for men to do anything sexually for women. So when yeah. they trot out the I he, eat pussy, it's kind of like look at what we're. Yes. Oh, okay. Dude, right. Look totally. Who's a feminist here. now? Huh? Oh, lucky it's girl. Like, and it's also the, they have this tone where they're like, yeah, I love to eat pussy, even though it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, wait, what? What? Who said it was disgusting? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't like it I here. I do feel like we're in this weird era of like nobody seems to understand that like just just the regular version of something is what mm. regular people are looking mm -hmm. for. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Like everyone who was like. It's so fucked up that men don't eat pussy. And all the men that were like, it's gross to eat pussy. The reactions to all that were so psycho. And this is yeah. one of them. Yeah. I eat pussy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we just want you to just add it to the repertoire, dog. Yeah. Like, it's just one of the things honestly, you're honestly, down for. Yeah. You don't even really have to eat pussy. The, the <laughs> subtext is... We just want you to care, care for about yeah, the coming. Yeah. Just totally. care about the coming. Yeah, totally. And whatever gets you there. Right. You know? It really doesn't need to be a big showy deal on it either side need to at be all. It doesn't a big showy deal yeah. at all. Totally. Even if, like, obviously we're all people, if someone truly doesn't like it and they care about how you feel, you're not going to be like, eat my pussy or die, you yeah. little bitch. Yeah, I'm not Though like I am going to say that to my girlfriend soon. <laughs> yes. and, uh, and, my, and my father. My yeah, late father. And my father. They, yeah. yeah, I have a pussy now and yeah. they both need to know. Yeah. They're oh, and you're late. Yeah, we'll tell him. Yeah, we'll thank tell you. Him. It's <laughs> huge. You should really count up how many times you guys have said it. <laughs> Eat my pussy. I think someone. Now that you said that, someone will in yeah. the comments. It's got to yeah. be o over 150. Uh, there, and that's no the point. Way. Wait, yes. well, uh, which specifically minutes? having a pussy? <laughs> Just the word pussy. The word pussy. 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 Oh yeah. Pussy. Marijuana. Marijuana. Wait, what, <laughs> wait, what is this? <laughs> uh, um, what's the I young feel like guy? I, um, heard this. Andy Milanakis. Pussy, oh, pussy, yeah. pussy, marijuana. Young guy. <laughs> it's so funny to call him young guy. That's he's the like opposite 40. of what he right, is. He's 50 and he looks like little a baby. Little guy. Little guy. You know who I don't want eating my <laughs> pussy is that fucking guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I don't know. Thank he's you. funny. Pussy, 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 marijuana. He'd be good, probably. He, yeah, he probably eats the fuck. Anyway. <laughs> Hell Should yeah, we dude. do the show? Let's do the show. Let's, <laughs> let's open. We want to do. Should we start the show? We want to do a seg. Uh, we'll start with yours. Uh, what was it? Restaurant. Oh yeah. Speaking of eating. Speak. Very nice. Uh, Ooh, look at that you. transition. I can do a segue. Uh huh. Uh, I respectfully. Mm hmm. Just if you're dating a woman. Or friends with anyone. Or I friends think. with anyone. Yeah. <laughs> if you've ever known this anyone. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> if you, <laughs> Dave, if you have any friends, so you if might want to leave. Literally <laughs> any relationships yeah. at all. If you've ever known anyone <laughs> in your life, yeah. Just pick a fucking restaurant. Enough oh my god. Of this yeah. back and forth with the fucking restaurant. Mm -hmm. Just pick a damn restaurant and tell me where we're going. Yes. I'd even take I'm it further so and say tired. with anything. Pick right. anything. Pick anything. Pick this, anything. The worst question in the world is, okay, well, what do you, what do you want? What do you the feel discourse. like? If it, when, if it goes, what do you want? I don't know. What do you want? Over. Someone pick. Over. Yeah. Why are we yeah. even hanging out in the first fucking place? <laughs> yes. Right. I can't handle this restaurant fucking bullshit <laughs> with the like, the, like the, the open DoorDash app on the phone. Oh, my God. And just an hour of looking at it and being like, well, we had Thai last week. I hate it. We, yeah. had, we had Thai last week is a really telling <laughs> sense. It's a death first rattle all, to the end of a relationship. All, last week was so <laughs> So long ago. Yeah, yeah. Totally. It also, your life to needs right more, now. buddy. It has yeah. nothing. To, last week has nothing to do with right now. <laughs> but you just don't want to say I don't want Thai food because you don't. Yeah. Want it's just so weird because you're so allowed to not want Thai food. Yeah. Yeah. But my point is, just tell me what you fucking do want. If you don't want Thai food, you got to come up with another suggestion. Right. Thank you. This you have to want Mexican thing. food. Well, it's yeah. also it's it's a give and take between the two people. Like Somebody needs to be. 
picking more than the other one. Yes. yes. Or you both need to be willing to be decisive. Yes. Yeah. And if someone's not, yeah, like, I, I don't want to tie. And then you just sit there and stare at me. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going to pick. Yes. And then you don't get to be upset, upset. about yes. what I pick. So this is my thing. I have a disease where I don't know what, what I want to eat ever at any point in my mm-hmm. life. I don't know what I want. I don't know. And I'm not going to make a decision, <laughs> okay? Mm-hmm. And I know that I'm saying to the opposite of this, but my point is I have expressed that to my boyfriend. So what he So he does just gets to pick whenever he... he picks the fucking restaurant. Yeah. yeah. He tells me, I don't know what I want to eat, but I do know what I don't want to eat. And that I know that that's annoying. I know that that's like classic every girl, and I know I get it, blah, blah, blah. So what he does is he tells me three restaurants that he wants. Right? Yeah. And I tell him what I don't want, and then he goes, well, then we're getting burritos. Right. And I go, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, Allie and I have a very good uh like relationship to this too. Yeah. It's not I think both of us Allie's are Dave's girlfriend, not his mm-hmm. dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Can you imagine who was your dog? Uh yeah. Yeah. My dog and I <laughs> we mutually understand just how much the other one likes what they like. Thai food. Yeah, totally. My dog and I eat Thai food every day. I'm broke and the dog is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Allie also was on the show. You guys yeah, know her. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, she's so funny. I uh, I liked her episode a lot too because she talked shit about something that we yeah. all think yeah, about. We, we yeah, we got real edgy. Go back to the yeah. Allie O'Neill. Yeah. Po- yeah, pause yeah. this. Listen to Allie O'Neill's <laughs> yeah. episode. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't follow Dave on everything. Yes. Go follow come Allie. Out, come yeah. back and find out how that girl likes to order food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we're really we kind of we had a, a conversation about it early on where it was yeah. like let's not let this yeah. get too far. Yes. And uh, there isn't one of us that is more not picked than the other like in yours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we do like one person says, "What are you feeling?" And then if the other person says, "I'm not really feeling like anything," the first person picks yes. every time. Yes. yes. It needs to end. It needs to end. Somebody yeah. needs to pick a fucking restaurant. Yeah, totally. I mean, this I've is... gone. I've done this in relationships where it's taken so long that the restaurants start closing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> and then they're like, I don't even want to hang out with you that much. I know. I mean, this is how I knew that I loved my boyfriend or was super interested in the beginning. He goes, "I'm only dating you, and that doesn't mean that you." can't date other people but i'm just telling you, you picked that a restaurant and it was your pussy Yay. nice dude Yay. Pussy again. Hell yeah. pussy. female comedians pigs um <laughs> and he would just like he just makes me food he's just like yeah we are now eating my boyfriend you're a baby too. and here is your food my boyfriend will i will go to his house while he's at work mm-hmm. and i'll wait in his room and then he will come home with groceries and he'll say this is what i'm making you for dinner i mean and I go, That's thank great. you. Yeah. Because yeah. I make decisions all day. Decisions suck. Yes. I make decisions all day about what I'm going to say on my little stupid podcast <laughs> and what I'm going to say into a stupid little microphone mm-hmm. and how to do my bangs. <laughs> <laughs> top three. Lizzie Cassidy. Top and, three. And it's nice when someone's just like, here's what you're going to eat. This is the main thing I dislike about uh, watching TV right now. I yeah. so preferred yeah. flipping around and being like, Oh, Shawshank's on again. Dude, totally. Dude, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's also pick a restaurant coding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you yeah. have to sit with mm-hmm. your significant other mm-hmm. and say mm-hmm. no to 11 TV shows. Oh. Yeah, dude. The, well, the way my boyfriend and I mm-hmm. combat this is we watch two episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race, then one episode of The Sopranos, <laughs> and nobody gets to be mad at anybody for being on their phone. Perfect. You know what so Allie and I have been doing lately? So we're the show I like and you're on your phone. I can't say anything. Oh, yeah. But the one, thing, the one thing we can do is we'll go, hey, you're going to want to see this. Yeah. But you don't uh, get to get yeah. mad. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I'm a one media guy. I'm Silence of the Lambs all day, every what? day. You only watch what? Silence of I, the Lambs? I mostly watch Silence of we the should Lambs. scan your brain. <laughs> and Silence of the Lambs Seriously. is Andrea's dog, is the weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not her girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, whoa. Yeah, I know. It's one of the... Not even, like, the bad sequels or anything? I, I will watch the bad sequels, okay. but I feel very comforted by Silence of the Lambs. There's something that just, it hits my brain in a certain it, way. It puts the lotion in the basket. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's so, you know, it's maybe the, old... the lotion in the basket, like how the kids are saying, put the fries in the bag. Have you seen this? No, I have yeah. not. But, like, somebody's, like, <laughs> mouthing off on TikTok. Oh, the shit. It puts do... the lotion in the <laughs> like, basket. No, the comments will be like, hey man, just put the fries in the bag. <laughs> like, it oh, might that see. he works at Wendy's and is having some sort got of it. mental yeah. health crisis. Got it. <laughs> got one it. Does. So anyway, put the lotion in the basket. I mean, so it's like, I'm gonna make Andrea nuggets, 
and a vegetable thing. I'm yeah. going to sit her down and she's going to watch Silence of the Lambs till 4 a.m. Yes. And that's what keeps the baby happy. We've already talked about how my boyfriend follows an Instagram account called Easy Meals for Toddlers and then he makes Is that so me. funny? <laughs> oh my God, dude. That's. That's amazing. And he'll like put cauliflower in a blender and tell me it's mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I eat it. Well, no, he doesn't do that, but <laughs> he does like, yeah, he just, I just like things that are very simple. Yeah. And I don't like a lot of fuss and whatever. I sent you a picture after we talked about this Beautiful. the first time. I sent you a picture of a plate with chicken nuggets, uh, rice, and baby carrots with ranch. <laughs> And that's love. And I was like, that's yeah, incredible, that's, yeah. dude. That's all I need. It is fun, you, though. <laughs> you eat Lunchables every day. I, know, I have Lunchables <laughs> in my fridge for real. <laughs> it is fun that we're all in relationships and our significant other, you, n- neither, none of you, and you probably are one of the people who know me the best in the whole world, knew about my little Silence of the Lambs thing. Yeah. Because there's a, a tiny did. inner layer. <laughs> yeah, you've known me for 10 years. I had no idea. You know, yeah. There's a tiny inner layer to people's personality yeah. that only their significant other Isn't that sees. So weird? And it's so weird and fun and fascinating. You're well, like, that's, I think that's because of sex. Sure. You're like, I'll tell you. I about mean, this guy's seen my fucking butthole. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, right. He, he's gonna know that I just want chicken nuggets. But some people hide. <laughs> some people hide that. Some people hide their butthole. Yeah. A lot of people hide. A their lot butthole. of people hide that. A lot of people are never known. Lord knows I do. Yeah. yeah. And I just had Thai <laughs> food. I bet you it's brutal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, and I was just talking. <laughs> and, <laughs> Sometimes and two <laughs> things just pop up together. You know, I really didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> well, this also um, what this behavior is the not picking the restaurant behavior is a little bit weaponized incompetence. Mm-hmm. There's like a little like, well, you just do it for me. Yeah, and, and I've also dated guys that. who just like mm. want to be mad at you for everything. Yeah, yeah. so they yeah. won't like do anything. Yeah, Ugh. and it's fucking annoying as shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a big part of it too that's like a fear of doing something wrong, sure. which is like, yeah. which is one something I think we can all relate to. Like I don't think in a grand sense I judge people for it, but I I do think it's a massive problem. Yes. That yeah. creates massive problems for other people, and yeah. it's a thing you have to really check in yourself. And like I, I like I there was a summer where I worked at the Minolta Camera Factory in New Jersey, Love it. and I like this is true. I like. Ri- ri- I like rose through the ranks of the laborers there <laughs> simply by making decisions. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I remember by the end of three months, I, they were like, why are you our boss? And I was like, I don't know. I just said, put the box over there. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. at a social media intern mm-hmm. at a comedy club. And then two months later, I was the manager because <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, that guy shouldn't stand there. Yeah. You just have to like, it is terrifying that you'll get in trouble. We've all been yelled at, and getting yelled at is a fucking nightmare. Getting yelled at is one is of the worst one things of the that scariest can happen worst things, And yeah. so it definitely scares us all Especially into submission. Especially when you deserve it. Oh, oh dude. Oh, my when God. you know the feeling, Getting man. yelled at when you deserve it is oh. like, I think I'd rather poop my pants in public. This yeah. is the worst the thing about getting time. older. Like, I feel like for me, it happened around 30, where I started to realize that there are almost no situations in which I am correct. <laughs> <laughs> We I love a man yeah. for that. Yeah. Dude, that when you and then you start looking back through your life and all the times that you were defensive and you're like, uh-huh. oh, yes. fuck, I was yes. wrong. Well, that is and being th- defensive is such a male, stereotypically male quality, I find. What? Yeah. <laughs> You are out of your mind. Oh, one of your friends telling you that. Now look, you're fucking men dumb, are lady. defensive. <laughs> Why? But, but uh, <laughs> see? Why? I uh, but I have had plenty of women in my life who've been yeah, very defensive. I think people, <laughs> sure, sure. I think, I think generally people are defensive, but it's you know what's a fun little manipulation that I used to do when I was a bad person. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. I would go. Uh, I don't even want to tell you because you're going to be all defensive about it. Oh my yeah. god! And then dude. they and then they don't get to be even if they're right. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's then great. you tell them what you're mad about and they can't go. I didn't do that because you just accuse them of being defensive. So they have to be like, I I hear you. I see. And uh, I'm gonna have to <laughs> politely disagree with that. <laughs> yeah, I have been called defensive when I was simply like rationally and legitimately yes. upset yeah, yeah. at somebody for doing something that hurt sure. my feelings. Yes, totally. yeah. uh, just by being like, hey, I didn't like that. Why are you getting all the... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah, no, I mean, like, in a grand sense, absolutely. Like, we don't... Uh, we're all always fucking up. Yes. And dude, yeah, when okay. someone calls you out and they're correct, oh. 
and you really and you fucked. Just have to sit you in you your should be like, stinky uh, diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, I've I've been calling uh, people diaper related things recently I a like lot. It. Yeah, I was saying diaper boy before we recorded, and I do think that that needs to be more of a thing. Who was yeah. a diaper boy? In your Alex life? Jones yes, is who sure, we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, we're talking I, about. Yeah. I, we had never said it that way, and I think famously that's, a diaper boy. That yeah. is what those guys. Anyone who's freaking out on the internet is a big diaper boy, and unless these conservative it's on their podcast. Yes. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> unless it's us. Yeah, unless it's me or you two. Unless yeah. it's us on our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there, there are people on the right. I mean, there's lots of diaper boys on the left. Yeah. But the But it's really, you got to be right wing to really be a diaper boy. To truly yeah. sit in your stinky little turd diaper. Because it's such a, you will, they'll never admit that it's a diaper. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They're like, it's, you know, it's a At least on the left, fist. they'll be like, this diaper's itchy. <laughs> right. All right. I mean, this brings us to a segment that you were talking well, about. Why don't which we I take a little break ski and come back. We'll take a little break ski. A break ski. We wow. take a break. Right? <laughs> yeah. Thirty one. Do it. All right, and we're back, diaper boys, tampon Welcome girls. Welcome back, diaper boys, tampon girls. My dad's big sloppy pussy. And dirty non-binary people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. I like uh, how inclusive you are with yeah, your shit metaphors. We're pigs yeah. for everyone. Yeah, we're yeah. We're the people's pigs. Toilet people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Dave had a hot take, which really I fucking love. Oh, yeah. Opened um, it up the floor. Respectfully. Thank mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows what triggering is. Nobody yeah. in the world is actually aware of what it actually is, yep. except for like 10 people. Yep. Yeah. And I like. And all 10 of those people have written a book about it that no one's reading. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. It is a very real thing yeah. that yeah. literally everyone on earth experiences. Yes. It is a yes. very real thing that we should be paid attention to. We should be caring for each other in this way. Trigger warnings were created for a very real reason, yeah. and they've been abused on all sides in every way. Diaper if you boys get a little, little bit fun upset. Of yeah. You're not fucking triggered. Yes. Yeah. Triggering, it's happened to me, I think, maybe one time in my life, maybe two, or maybe sometimes I'm not recalling two, but yeah. triggering is when like a, yeah. something occurs in front of you that causes a trauma response in your brain that you cannot control, yeah. that causes you to not be able to speak sometimes. You like, your body like feels like it's on fire. Mm-hmm. You yeah. basically have a full panic attack or yeah. some sort of like PTSD attack, and you need to go manage it. And most people, when they get triggered, they go manage it, you yes. know? Yes, yes. You, like, and look, I do like a world in which we are trying to understand what everybody goes through and try to take care of each other. And to that end, I think trigger warnings about the most horrible things people go yeah. through are really, really worthwhile. Especially when yeah. those horrible things are very common. Absolutely. Yeah. But... But there are so many people on the left who are just like, I'm triggered. <laughs> and you're really yeah. fucking not. You just didn't like it. Yeah. Yes. And that's okay, too. Just say that. And then, obviously, yeah, these diaper boys on the right are just like, oh, are you triggered? And, like, you, buddy, you have been triggered so many times in your life. All you are, life. Is, All you are is triggered. You're, you get in, worked up by... In, yeah. your defini- in their definition of trigger, yes, exactly. that's where they live. Yes. In my definition, they're just really upset. Yeah, but maybe they, they are, have been, but I don't know. I don't know what they're... But yeah, they're clearly you know. like, you said that I can't say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, now I have to... I want to say that. <laughs> my favorite one, too, is that they get worked up. They're like, you said I can't say that. I just said that. Why can't I say that? And it's like, wait, you said... But you, you just said it. You said it. You said it. it. I, mean, I never it. said you couldn't say it. I said, I don't like when you say it. Totally. I've, and it's these two morons, these uh, diaper boys and tampon girls, mm-hmm. one being like, you you can't say that. The other one saying, yes, I can. And no one's triggered. They're yes. just yes, sad. They're just upset. And they're the same. And, and they should hang out. And it's also the same thing as like people on the internet who are like, uh, the example I can think of is there's people who have a phobia surrounding throwing up, right? Mm-hmm. I get it. It really upsets you when people throw up. That's totally cool. Whatever. But... They, like I've seen videos where people get mad that somebody didn't put a trigger warning because they mentioned throw up. Sure. <sighs> yeah, I mean this stuff is buddy. tough because yeah. it's like a fine line, right? It's tough to know what the line is. This is what, of what yeah of what something is. Yeah. That is so severe, it warrants a trigger warning. Yeah. But that is definitely not it. My point and was going to be. One day you will be a grown up and somebody is going to throw up in front of you. Yeah. And that sucks that it makes you that upset, but you are going to have to deal with it. You know? We because, all live because in the world. My The reason I chose that example is because people can't choose when they throw up. Yeah. Right? So, like, if my, if my trigger is people talking about a specific thing, I can ask people not to do that. But... 
you can't really ask sick people not to throw up. That's true, but also in so your... So you have to self-regulate a little bit, you know? In your example about uh, asking people what not to say, you also are going to be around people totally. pretty constantly yeah. that you are don't have a relationship with, so you can't ask that of them. Yeah, absolutely. And I, th I think my biggest thing with this, like, with this idea is people are ignoring... I think something about being able to be very online yeah. and choose all of what you see throughout the day sure, yeah. and then all of these mechanisms that are just like designed to keep you in a bubble so they can sell products to you, they teach people that they don't have to ever see something they don't want to yeah. see, and that's not true. Yeah. Yeah. You have to interact with the world in order to live, and I'm sorry. I wish you didn't have to. Yes. I'm sorry it's hard for you, but the only answer is to learn coping mechanisms. Yes. Yes. You can't expect the world to come to you about every little thing. You can about big things, and yeah. we will try. Yeah. But also, even in this world where we're trying to help you, not everyone will because there's cunts out there, yeah. and yeah. you should learn to deal with that. Yeah, well, I, my, my point was, even in the most ideal circumstance, even in a conversation where it's you and someone who fucking cares about you, and you have the ability to be like, I really don't like when you talk about this, right? Even then, you can't stop that person from having a bodily reaction to something. Sure, yeah. So there's just certain things where it's like, it's just going to fucking happen, you know? There are people, okay, like this is a sad example that's going to bum us all out for a second, but whatever. Um, we all have a friend that we were very close to who tragically died in a bike accident, and it really fucked with me. It really, really fucked me up. And I have to see people all the time riding those bikes without helmets, riding electric bikes without helmets, and it really fucks me up. Mm -hmm. But I don't run around the streets of New York being like, God, could somebody warn me when they're coming? I, I just have to go home and deal with it. You know what I mean? Totally. I man, I have a I have a suicide joke that I love. And I one of the reasons I like doing it, I guess I don't this isn't something it's not like a feeling I enjoy, but I like doing it cosmically because I think people need to hear it from me. There aren't a lot of uh there's not a lot of subject matter that I can, that is like uh, dicey or edgy that I can speak on confidently because there's only the certain amount of things that right. I've gone through, right? Yeah. But one thing that I have gone through is suicidal thoughts. And one thing that I've experienced is losing people to su suicide. Yeah. Numerous of my friends have taken their own life. I lost two people in the pandemic and I have considered and like dug and like clawed through suicidal feelings and thoughts and ideation a lot in my life. And brother. so me, what's that? I said, same Z. Yeah, brother. dude. Yeah, that's why we're friends. I mean, mm -hmm. what the yeah. fuck? That's actually what the joke about. The joke is about uh, I you. Love this I love this joke. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like, don't kill yourself, but you got to want to. Sure. Uh, be cool. <laughs> yeah, because you're well, not you're gonna cool. You're going to be the kind of guy who doesn't want to. You don't want to? Yeah, yeah. You like, like it? What the fuck? You that's the joke. Yeah. yeah. yeah and so um, funny. people will get mad at me. And every now and then talk shit to me about it. And a lot of crowds will just not accept it. Yeah. And I just want to say, like, you don't get to fucking tell me yes. that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I am, a, I don't, my friends are dead. And right. uh, people bringing up suicide and talking about suicide and advocating against suicide, it doesn't, like, make me cry and go into a corner because I was forced to deal with it. Yes. And I'm sorry. You got to deal with it. Yeah. There's a thing about trigger. There's a few things about triggering. One thing that people don't understand about triggering and one is, like, something I've had such insight about, smell. Oh smell my God, is dude. the craziest, most powerful yeah, yeah, yeah. Smell is way crazy. to be triggered. Like a lot of people are like, like you said, pe someone's talking about something, someone's at, like approaching you in a way that's that's eliciting emotion. The most triggered I will ever be is if I'm in a hospital. Yeah, and oh. I smell oh, shit. because I had like so many traumatic childhood times in a hospital. I get a whiff of that bleach situation. Yeah, and I'm on another fucking planet. That being said, like, I, bleach happens in life. Yes. Yeah, you know, totally. And so I have to <laughs> know that about myself. And Put just that on a t-shirt. Yeah, bleach happens. Bleach, bleach happens, happens, bleach in happens, life, happens baby. Your, your friends die. Right. And bleach happens. And then the <laughs> other side of that, right, is that like you're. We know that now, mm -hmm. and like 
you're the people who love you in your yeah. life will try to create a situation in which you experience that less. Yes. Yeah, you which can ask is your partner to not clean with bleach. Totally. Yeah. You know. And if you are in a place regularly, you can ask, like if you're in a classroom or if yeah. you like work at a club, you can sure. be like, hey, can you do me this favor? And then they should do that for you if they yeah. are trying to take yes. care of you. But it is like yeah, you but can't you expect can't the whole into world a to come to you. Business where you've never met anyone <laughs> yeah. and be like, "Oh my God, <laughs> is there bleach yeah. happening? Yeah, oh, yeah. you know that mm-hmm. some people don't like bleach, and they're like, sorry, we were trying to not give you COVID.' <laughs> do, you, do you guys notice too? Wait, what business was that? <laughs> all, all of that. <laughs> <during> <laughs> the like it was the Popeyes by my yeah. house, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like a little craft place. Yeah. Uh, okay. Where yeah. they like clean with like a, a like sort of watered down bleach solution, <laughs> like a lavender. Well, oh, I see. Yeah. There's also like, I would Aww. argue that people on the right being violently upset all of the time. That's their thing. You are triggered. And also a lot of the times right. I feel like a lot of these people are, have internalized bullshit. A lot of the time homophobia from mm-hmm. men on the right. Transphobia. Transpho- so gay panic is just people on the right being triggered by their own bullshit. Yeah. And you need to look inward and figure out what the fuck's going on with you. Denial That's is a river in Egypt. Nice, Your husband dude. is gay. <laughs> right. And, and not it's actually a really good point that that's triggering. Like if someone says something and you uncontrollably turn red and scream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're triggered. What the hell? Yeah, like, are you all right? That's the other funny thing about uh, the diaper boys mm-hmm. is that uh, <laughs> there's no one around them going like, what the fuck? Oh, like, yeah. I know, I know. Everyone's like, because totally. Because they're scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. thing Actually, about them is they have guns and <laughs> want to hurt people and, and are okay with people being hurt. Yeah. Like, they're not explicitly saying that they want to hurt people, <laughs> but they're being like, well, if a trans kid kills itself whatever <laughs> right. and you're like well now you're scary yeah, yeah no and now shit. i can't now yeah. i can't tell you that you're crazy because you don't care if people who aren't like you live or die yeah you know? yeah and that's when we got to put you in a box and close it that's and right you, yeah and put a diaper that's right on. and a private prisons i've always been a private prisons guy you guys know that <laughs> i've always <laughs> been a private prisons guy yeah my main i'm with you my main problem with the prison industrial complex is that it doesn't make enough money yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. not yeah. private enough actually yeah. totally i want to sell them bad meat yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm a i'm a yeah. diaper prison take away guy. their tvs and give them fucking cat toys that's yeah. what i say i say <laughs> take away their cat toys and give them weapons yeah that's right and give them a pussy and give, yeah. it, and give all of them a pussy put all the violent offenders in prison give half of them pussies and just see if it gets worked out yes <laughs> and, and it, it, it gets worked out. let's airdrop diapers in prison and then see if it gets worked out <laughs> let's take a break let's take a break <laughs> Trigger Man. warning, we're yeah. back. Yeah, I <laughs> oh, yeah. We were talking about suicide. Have you heard that <laughs> v- Violent Femmes have... So, like, their first album, you know, it sounds like... Uh, it just sounds like a 14-year-old yeah. screaming and banging on a bucket. Nice. And uh, I love it. Mm-hmm. And then the band got, like, a little better and bigger. And I like the later stuff, too. But there's one song on a later album that sounds like one of those songs banging on the first on album. Bucket. And it's called... Uh, out the window. Do you know this song? No, I think it, I do know this. Song. It's wall? literally about someone killing themselves. Yeah, and it's just like wow. They go out the window. I never thought about that before. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, re- I was like, yeah, they go out the window. They go out the window. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a really cute song about yeah. how they go out the window. Also, I don't know if that's what it's about. But <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I kind of ascribe suicide to mm. a lot of songs. I oh, think me too. Going out the window. I mean, what else could it be about? <laughs> yeah, a lot of con- not taking the door. What? Like climbing Not up the window the door. to go hook up with a friend, <laughs> <laughs> climbing off the no. ceiling. So you're saying that on the first floor of a house you they go out, out the, the window. window? Well, you know, all right. Have, have you what ever been the door? They don't like it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Have you ever or been they get caught? <laughs> or there's so many reasons to not go out. The have door. you ever been a drunk and thought this might be kind of more fun if I do the Ooh. window this time? Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, something about saying. the fact that they're called the Violent Femmes makes me think it's it isn't like. Probably yeah. ever want <laughs> they go out, go the, out window. the window to the wall. <laughs> to the sweat well, drum. Back from that hudge that my friend. <laughs> sweat you know, a lot of people don't realize that song is about to jumper. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People are dumb. Are you kidding? Because they all, the only part they know is the part that's like, I would understand. Yeah. Yeah. And but the line right about, before like, that is like, I'm going to kill my, if well, you kill if yourself. you don't want to see <laughs> me, me again. again. So people think it's like a breakup song. 
It is yeah, a suicide funny. the biggest fuck you breakup to do. Yeah, I think murder suicide is kind of romantic though. So romantic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we'll go out, you and I. <laughs> do you I want my uh, nice. you want my next yes. respectfully? Yeah, is that give what it I should to do? us. Yeah, I guess I'll stop talking about murder suicide. Yeah, would you shut the f- yeah. respectfully shut the fuck up? <laughs> Thank God, someone Good finally Lord, said it. Dude. What if, uh, what if that was your saying? Yeah. Respectfully, Lizzie, Respectfully, yeah. Lizzie shut, the yeah. Yeah. Fuck fuck shut the fuck up. Ever shut I'm sick of it. Up. Man. And, and, and valid. You yeah. get a brand new pussy and all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. You're talking out of both lips now. Yeah, God. exactly. I got a new pussy so it could talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this is a big one for me. This is like I get uh, upset about this. And I will say I also realize that... I am going to get upset about this. <laughs> Does that make sense? It makes yes. sense. Some things you Self-aware. just are like, here's the thing about it. All right, I'll say it. Respectfully, mm-hmm. you are in my fucking way. Oh. <laughs> Dude, oh, you yeah. are in my way. You are in everyone's way. Yep. Everyone is in everyone's fucking yeah. way. Mm-hmm. And you need to start knowing that. Yeah. And like, so why the qualifications I was about to make were like, I realized that, these are just like tiny little micro frustrations at people on the street. And as a result, I don't call people out on it because it's one of those things where like, if I say it all of a sudden, I'm a guy yelling at somebody on the fucking yeah, street it's yeah. and it's a hundred times what it was before. But that's the thing. That's the thing. People that don't, think in a considerate manner about yeah. everyone else on the street, never get called on it because the rest of us don't want to be insane. I but know. like 50% of the population or more, you are you just barrel out of a store. You throw a door open, I'm walking down the street, look out. Yeah. If you're walking down the street and you need to stop and look at your phone, I might be behind you. Yeah. Pull the fuck over, dude. Yeah. This I'm walking here thing, it's real. It is We real. are walking, walking here. here. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my... If the sidewalk gets wider out of nowhere, you and your friends don't now have more space. Yes. Yes. You have a contained amount of space on the, uh, that's the respectful yeah. amount. Oh my God. I also, hate a lollygagger. Also, you don't have to call an Uber in the middle of the sidewalk. No, you don't. Nobody's ever had to call an Uber you in the middle of the sidewalk. You know where you don't have to. And the only people who do that, by the way, are people who still somehow in 2024 don't know how to fucking work the Uber app. Dude. Yeah. Also, ah! you. I realize that for a lot of us, when you get out of the subway, you have to look at your Google Maps again and change it from... Uh, from train to walking, so right. you know where to go. Yeah. But you know where you don't do that? Right at the top of the fucking stairs I mean, where everyone's walking out. Or lose it. Dude, it is dry. It is like, it's so many people that I can't believe it. I know. It is yeah, a know. very simple type of consideration that you just need to have for other human beings. And I like, for me, it goes way further. It's like anytime I ever change direction, I look over my shoulder, I look over the other one. Same. Maybe I pull over. I do it like I'm driving. If yeah. you, here, man, here's one of the most infuriating ones. If you have stopped and you're looking at your phone, when you start walking again, that affects other people. Yeah. And yeah. so many people will literally be stopped and I'll just be walking. And right when I get right next to them, they'll decide to start walking again. And now we're walking in tandem up the right. sidewalk yeah. together. Right. The we're tiny, boyfriend tiny and sidewalk. girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boyfriend. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah dude. Let me walk the fuck by you before you decide to yes. get started again. Also, um, I know nobody knows this about me, but I do stand-up comedy <laughs> at night and on the weekends. <laughs> and the thing about at night and on the weekends is people are drunk. Drunk. Yeah, yeah. right. And sometimes when you do stand-up comedy, you're in a hurry to get from one place to another. Yeah. And sometimes the fastest way to do that is to walk. Right. And that happens to me all the time where I have one spot in the East Village and then another spot in like Gramercy and I got to walk. That's the fastest way for me to get there. And all of you, all of you are walking out of a bar with a group of seven fucking lollygagging and then standing on the sidewalk and deciding where to go next. The Lower East Side is the worst it's place. Hell. I will it's bring hell. a gun to your it's house. Hell. And you know why? It's because, I mean, and by, and by the way, people who live in New York City and who have lived in New York City for years are not exempt from this at all. But no, no. in a concentrated area where people are visiting from fucking Hoboken, yes. and it's Ugh. always Hoboken. Yeah. And uh, even if they live here, they've lived here for like a year. Yeah. Right. They are like, you're not real. The side, just like, think about where you are and what the functional purpose is for the place that you are. The sidewalk is for people to walk. Yes. So if you're standing around, 
Get the fuck out of the way. This has also gotten much worse with the invention of the gazebo in a bike lane. Yeah. yeah. Oh my the god. Hot yeah. That's in a bike lane for outdoor for dining. To, for you to take pictures totally. in. And now bars have them. Yeah. So like half the friend group is in the hut, half the friend group is on the sidewalk. I'm trying to get where I need to go. And now I have to literally walk through your hang to get Man. there. And I've also been in a hang that's congregating on the sidewalk. And I'm very aware of how annoying we're being. And it gives me anxiety. Yeah. You know, you know what the worst of this is? Subways. You are standing where the door opens. Oh, oh my, God. my God, I'll kill you dead. <laughs> and you do not either step out of the train or move in. You just stand there yeah. like a roadblock. I push those people. Yeah, yeah. I shoulder Good check them and I'm like, fuck you. Unless they're a little scary and I feel like they're going to yeah. kill me. Also, people who get who on the train. Who raised you? People who get on the train before you get off the oh train. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You raised by that's wolves? So, that's so rampant. And getting on elevator. People like. Oh. It, yeah. Because here's the thing. It's one thing. It's already annoying and horrible and I fucking hate you if you're getting on the train before you let me get off. But some people, you'll be getting off the train and they'll be getting on and they'll be mad at you yes. for not letting them on. I know. Dude. Also, if you use like a little one brain cell, you can figure out that me getting off leaves more room in the train. Right. For you to get on. I'll, right. I'm going to take this one step further, too, take by it the a way. Sing it, sister. Let's there go. are exceptions to this rule that are rooted in humanity. Mm -hmm. For example, people in uh, a like motorized wheelchair sure. get yes, of a break. Yeah. And we, sh but I will say that all the people that are just fucking stopping and starting and not, not looking yes. around, they're in the people in the wheelchair's way also. Yeah, yeah. And that's what really drives me crazy. I see people almost bowl over an old lady all the fucking yeah, time on I've the street. I've found that largely elderly and disabled people, because they have to be, are way more around, uh, or are way more aware of their, spa their spatial yeah, awareness right. than people who are not. Like, if you, if you watch, like, a little old lady or a blind person walking around in New York. They'll stop a lot. Dude, blind person. <laughs> yeah. They're in New not York gonna stop in the middle of the fucking sidewalk. I yeah. meant to like let people by. Yes, yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, totally. They're totally like aware of what's going on and they're moving out of the way of someone who's walking and on their phone at the same time who isn't even noticing them. Blind yeah. person in New York is the highest level of gangster you could ever fucking yeah. be. Blind person in New York fucking yeah. city. It, it's incredible. Yes. Totally. There is one phone thing that I will excuse and I think sometimes this happens and we don't realize it. You get a crazy phone call or a crazy text sure. and you stop. Yes. And totally. I've been that guy. But look, there's we all fuck up, first of all. Yeah. And there's exceptions to every rule. Yeah. I'll also say, so like I'm talking about people in wheelchairs and older people. You know who don't get a pass from me are people with kids. I don't care. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my Thank way. Thank you. People with kids love especially the getting on the train before you get off. Oh, yeah. They my love goodness. getting their six fucking kids on the train. And it's like, yeah, be look, rich and I be able to just have Ubers. Decide for you to have kids in yes. fucking Brooklyn, man. Yes. yes. Yeah. You yeah, I know. I get it. It is difficult. You got a whole crew, and I do have a certain degree of sympathy for you, but you got to have sympathy for me, and I'm trying to get somewhere, and I'll get out of your way, but if you just think that you get the entire stairwell go, because you have two kids, <laughs> fuck yeah, you. Also, yeah. You also have, like, uh, 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 what is the word I'm looking pussy? for? Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> you have, like, your dead dad's pussy. pussy. <laughs> you have an obligation, in my opinion, to teach your kid how to be polite on the yeah, sidewalk. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Nobody yeah. else is going to teach them that. Oh. You you are the person who teaches your kid that you let people off the subway before they get on. Yeah. So when you're just grabbing them by the elbow and yanking them onto the subway before I got off, you're teaching them the exact wrong thing. Totally. I'm also, Not to mention, and like... you're going to raise an entitled little brat who's going to kill a woman. Yeah, classic. Or just, or just might die young <laughs> because they just don't know that you don't get the fuck out of the way when people yeah. are... When huge people are moving by you. Yeah, also, if you don't teach them how to be aware of their surroundings, they could get hit by a fucking delivery guy on a bike. Yeah, we're get, we're just get punched in the face. If you have kids in New York City, do you have Move. to do you have to be <laughs> rich? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah I'm kind of like. Uh, I mean, I think it's different Jersey. if you're like. Well, it, that depends. If your family, right. if, <laughs> if your family is here and from here, I get it. You yeah, know, that's yeah, a sure. different thing. But if you are a transplant who moved to New York and now you're like having kids in at your everyone, 40s and you want to have kids at everyone. 
there is such a thing as Long Island. That's what I'm saying. And I implore you to look into yeah. it. Yeah. Jersey. Yeah, There's they're plenty like, of room it's so out hard there. to have kids in the city. I'm like, then, then go. Then let yeah. me, then there give are me plenty your of apartment. people who don't have an option yes. because they live, That's they like, grew, yeah, yeah. Sure. if you're from yeah. here and your work and your family and everything, blah, 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 is here. But if, especially if, like, I know so many people because I'm from upstate New York who's like parents live an hour outside the city. Mm-hmm. Go live near them. No. Yeah, Go live yeah. down the street from them. They'll <laughs> always babysit and you won't be in my way. Yeah, I agree. Or, Live here and just just nice. know that you're still a guy here. Yeah. We don't care. You're not special. Mm-hmm. You decided to have kids here. Just, you know, we'll be nice to you. You'll be nice to us. But your big stroller doesn't make you better than me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm better for the also environment dogs. than you. Ugh. I love that you have a dog, but it doesn't make you get more, like, to break more rules than no. me. No. Yeah. No. No. There's a system. There's a system. That's right. That's goddamn right. There's a system, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start death penaltying people for this. <laughs> and if you don't, prisons, 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 <laughs> and and more people in prison. Kids in yeah. prison. The Guys. cool thing about oh, we are you're no, no, ending. Go, go, go. Go, go the ahead. cool thing yeah. about saying this in New York is that people are willing to hear you because there's so many people. I used to say this when I lived in L.A. and I remember people being like, "Well, that's just too much to ask of people." Really? Really? Well, because you're just so less frequently on the street. Yeah. yeah. But it's not any better or worse. People are just in general. That's I think bonkers. a great many people aren't considerate in general. Yes. And then many people are like in their own head on the street. And uh, you just like should be thinking about other people, man. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. really. Yeah. My. Okay. This is my last one. But no, for some, it, why, man. for some reason, are there so many people that don't walk straight? And I don't mean Uh-oh. they're disabled. Oh, sorry. People are just on their phone like. Fucking, <laughs> and I'm like trying to get by you, and you're like doing a little like swervy so, dance oh all over the fucking sidewalk. The other version of this is, is this Andrea? That's I. Yeah, yeah, I don't walk Andrea straight. Has no fucking I idea don't. Where <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. There's oh. also, but there's another version of this that I oh I will freak out. Um, a couple. Holding hands. No. Nope. Doing the thing where they're stretching out the hands nope. and swinging nope. Dude, together. That is next level. Go like, to a park. Yeah. One time I was really worked up about this, and I think I was even with Kenny, and uh, yeah. and uh, I was like, the rule should be that if you're in a couple, you walk in a straight line. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. What I do is my boyfriend tucks his dick between his legs, and I hold it from the back, and then we walk around. Like oh, that. that's perfect. That's Instead of holding hands. I'm also that taller work for than me my boyfriend, so our hand holding is awkward, and I'm like, enough with it. Yeah. Enough with it. Put me in the baby Bjorn. My boyfriend and I hold hands, but then when someone's coming towards us, we just fucking. Bink. Yep. My and girlfriend's like six, seven inches tall, so I should just, I'll just yeah. pick her up. Yeah, now just pick her up. You can just put her, her in my pocket. You can throw her to where you're going. <laughs> That's <meet> right. Her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got a strong arm. I will say though, like yes, I agree that people should be considerate. I think I'm a considerate person in like my being and essence. I don't think I'm like a rude bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. But you are bad at walking around. I'm bad at walking around. I don't. I don't realize it. I'm yeah. tr- sure. I okay. Re- like truly. I can't walk in a straight line to save my fucking life, mm. and I've never been able to do that. And if I don't get offended when people steer me. I'll say this. You can steer me. Mm-hmm. You can b- push me around. You can put me in the gutter, yeah. you know, so I stay in my lane. <laughs> I, ju- I just... Sure. I don't know what's up with my brain. Well, like, I you only know, watch Silence of the Lambs, and I can't walk in a straight line, and, like, that's just what the... It's I, cooked like that. I think it's fair to ask uh, those of us who get incensed about this you uh, to come to you a little bit oh yeah i think that's fair yeah. no and i've had people come to me and, and uh, like i will work on it <laughs> yeah no i just mean like acknowledging that people are people that's why that's the other reason that i don't ever like freak out i've never once called someone out about it in the moment except i think one time it was just so egregious that yeah. it's like dude you almost pushed me into a fucking car or yeah. whatever yeah yeah um but it's like yeah it's never a big enough infraction to like really lose it i just really wish that in general, and I, you already do this, so that's it. That's all. All I'm really asking is that people think about the fact that there are other people around, no matter what, yeah. even if you can't see them. Yeah. You know, they might be behind you. They might be invisible. Yeah. Right. They, they might be, be out to get you. Yeah. <laughs> they might be. They might be. In, they might be invisible and conspiring. They to might kill be. In you. The they CIA. might know your address. They yeah. might be in your bushes. <laughs> they could be in your skin. They might be and the Ronald people, Reagan. <laughs> right. The people who have drugged you and are going to kill you soon have feelings too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and stop being so triggered about it. You woke left pussy yeah, boy. Yeah, you fucking 
Put your diaper on, <laughs> shit your pants, and shut up. <laughs> Idiot. Gotta Dave, love being a man. Dave, where can they find you <laughs> and follow you? <laughs> Where do we get to see your diaper on the internet? Oh, <laughs> man. My, f- my favorite thing lately is uh, my podcast. I have a podcast with Caleb Sinan called Billionaires Are Good. We, awesome. uh, we pick a billionaire every week and so talk about how great they are. Love that. Um, I, uh, I'm at Dave to the Ross on everything. D-A-V-E-T-O-T-H-E-R-O-S-S. And that's my website, Dave to the Ross.com and Instagram and all that shit. Dave also does a lot of visual and prop-based gags Pranks. on the oh, that's internet, true. and I love. Oh, thanks. Them. They made me a website that you can check out. It's Lizzie.guns.beer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I, I. So I've been putting out a record a month I this, love this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. this is awesome. Which is another thing that I suppose I would love people to check out. It's yeah. Uh, there's a website for it. One record a month. Dot Dave to the Ross. Dot com. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm like. Putting out a seven-inch record every month. Uh, I've put out nine so far. We're recording this in September. Uh, three left. And so I love it. It's cool. It is hard to get people's eyes on it. Yeah. Because it is not at all what anyone's doing right now. Yeah. So I implore you to check it out. Because it's not a ticky-tocky. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Like That's right. It's not it's a not hot the Snapchats or the TikToks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess I couldn't put it on your gram face. <laughs> And, uh, uh, but, uh, but also one of the, I really, I'm, I'm glad I did it. It's like a cool, like, uh, they're sort of bucket list cool thing. Looking cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but one of the on downsides of it is that I, it has taken me away from the other like visual dumb shit. I was, I haven't made a website in a while. But it'll I haven't always be there. put up yeah. a Joe Biden flyer in a long time. I like oh the God. Joe Biden So we're flyers. getting back to those. Yeah. Uh, in 2025 well, as well. Well, is still there. That's yeah. right. And, and it'll like, always be there. Out. Also, tim.manly.website yep. is a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, what was Kevin's? Kevin.dammit.lol. <laughs> and, uh, Where is mine? How about this? Oh, shit. Make one for me, and then respectful listeners, go comment on it. Oh, shit. If okay. I may, if I may ask. So, actually, I the last one I made was for our friend that we lost. Yeah. Right. And my plan was... So by the time I was making his, I realized like, okay, these need to not look like shit. Yeah. So his looks really good, and everyone else's looks like look like his shit. So I kind of <laughs> like that they look like shit, but that's just my. His was so yeah, funny. I like that it looks like shit. But I'm like sort of learning in making these visual gags that on Instagram, like you don't make your way into the algorithm if it doesn't look visually appealing. Yeah, yeah sure. And so even though I love shit that looks punk, I'm just I have to sort of like make this You're concession. In order to get it to people, his is coolcomedian.com. Yeah, yeah. Which is so and, <laughs> I can't believe that existed. That no one had. I that. know, totally. That's amazing. It's so funny. And so I will, um, yeah, when I get back to it, and I'm going to make this promise right now. I don't know when it'll be, but when I get back to it, Andrea, you're the first. Andrea.prisons.pussy. <laughs> you can't buy that one. All they right. haven't made dot pussy. <laughs> the ones I own are pussy. guns.beer, manly.website. Damn it. Lol and coolcomedian.com. We can look around for yeah. more. Yeah. I'll, I'll pay, I will you know? cover the cost of the, of you, the domain. Oh, okay, great. And uh, you pick a domain and you let me know. All right. Dot, and we'll make dot dogface dot pig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dot wooden fucker with pig dot Andrea pussy. dot dog. That's yeah, probably hey, now yeah. Yes. Pig dot Andrea dot <laughs> dog. Yeah. Is pretty. Good. We could do that one. Lizzie, but, where can they find you? Oh, I also you? bought uh, better than your dot mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, and Dave's such a fun follow, guys. Is is the thesis Thank of this? You. He's follow it's Dave. so funny. Um, Listen to his pod, Lizzie. What about you? You can follow my white ass. <laughs> there we go, dude. <laughs> Lizzie Cassidy on Instagram. I have another podcast called Close Calls, and I run a show every Wednesday and Saturday in Brooklyn called Comedians You Should Know. Also, I'll be in Chicago. November 12th to the 18th. I'll put all those dates in my Instagram. Come to a show. Hell yeah. Follow me at, follow my dad dad's pussy at Andrea Comedy 69 on Instagram and TikTok. Our clips are out on uh, respectfully underscore pod on Instagram as well. And as always, follow the YouTube, comment, like, subscribe. Goodbye.